Muscle cramps are something that most athletes have experienced at some time or another. For some people they're just a minor annoyance, for others they're a complete showstopper. For me, they were a huge pain as a triathlete. When I was competing in the heat, they ruined numerous big races. Now, there's no universal way to get on top of muscle cramps, and even though they've been studied a lot by scientists, we don't fully understand them yet. But there are some different theories that are worth discussing because there might be something you can learn from them if you're trying to get over muscle cramps yourself. The first theory is called the dehydration electrolyte theory of muscle cramping. And this theory postulates that when you lose a lot of fluid and a lot of electrolytes from the body, this causes a shift in fluid from the intracellular to the extracellular space, and this somehow sensitizes and puts pressure on nerve endings, causing muscles to cramp. Now, it's very hard, and it's never really been conclusively proven in a lab environment that this theory and this mechanism has a great deal of weight behind it. But what there is, is a huge amount of real-world anecdotal experience and huge weight of numbers around people who found that, that correcting for a fluid imbalance with insufficient salt or sodium intake and fluid intake helps to alleviate cramping. So it's not great evidence, but there's a mass of it, and it means that it probably does work for a significant number of people. This was initially studied in the 1940s when they were looking at industrial workplaces where men were working very long hours, sweating in places like coal mines, shoveling coal into boilers and that kind of thing, and some of them were going down with muscle cramps. What they found was that if they gave them plenty of water to drink and added salt to that water, that alleviated the problems way better than giving them water to drink alone. And this is a similar sort of experience to what a lot of athletes have had when they've competed a lot in the heat. If they've tried increasing their electrolytes intake quite often that helps them get on top of their cramps. Now if this is a route that you want to go down to try I suggest using a very strong electrolyte drink to test out the hypothesis because what a lot of people do is they use a standard sports drink which has three, four, five hundred milligrams of sodium in it per litre and that's not going to cut it if you're a cramper. What I've found is that using a thousand, maybe even 1500 milligrams of sodium per litre or per 32 ounce serving of fluid is, as, is about as strong as you need to go in order to really see the effects of whether sodium can help with your cramping. Now, that's about two or three times the strength of a regular sports drink, so you either need to take something stronger or you need to take some supplemental sodium along with a sports drink to hit those numbers. If you find that that works though, it's pretty instantaneous and often then it's just a case of tweaking the amounts that you're taking in in order to get on top of it and that was certainly the case for me. Now the problem with that theory is that not all muscle cramps are obviously caused by fluid and electrolyte loss nor are they corrected by sodium intake. So this other theory of why muscle cramps occur is called the altered neuromuscular control theory. Now this is, gets quite technical, but I'm going to gloss over a lot of that and just to say that basically alpha motor neurons, which are in your spinal cord that control muscle contraction, can get overexcited and it's thought that potentially in sport that's got to, a lot to do with fatigue and overuse and that that, that overuse and overexcitement results in involuntary muscle contractions and cramps. Now the biggest way that people have postulated that you can then therefore reduce the cramping from an altered neuromuscular point of view is to improve fitness and improve pacing because if you don't overwork the muscles then in theory that kind of cramping won't happen. Now in reality I think that these two theories intermingle a little bit because as we get fatigued especially if we're working hard in races and as we start to stress muscles we're often getting you know, dehydrated, depleted of electrolytes so these things cross over and sometimes maybe even combine to make cramping worse in some cases. So I, I wouldn't see them as two completely separate theories but see some overlap. But if your cramp is the kind that's not really responding to a higher dose of sodium intake, then try and things like moderating your pacing to match your fitness levels, get, getting some sports massage to loosen up tight muscles and actually work on the, the muscle fibers themselves to, to line them up and, and line them out a lot more, um, more flexibly and looser often works as does um, mental relaxation because if you're very tense, if you're over exerting yourself mentally that can result in tension in the body and I've seen that approach work really well for some people who are getting persistent cramps. Now overall cramps are very fickle, they can be hard to pin down, it can be infuriating if, you've, if you get them, I know that from personal experience but I think by trying some of these ideas, additional sodium to the right dose before, during and after exercise, pacing right, 
getting sports massage uh, and also uh, mental relaxation all coming together can often help you get on top of them so that would be my top recommendation on what to try.